Hello, this is Walter Killeen with Mugawalt Brands, here to introduce you to one of our new products, the Quick Trench Slide Hammer Tools. Here are the products that we'll be using for this project. The green tool is called a digger. This one's the pro model. The red tool is called a slide hammer digger. The blue tool is a plug digger. And the yellow tool is an inserter. Today we'll be installing a sprinkler irrigation system using blue PEX and blue lock fittings. As many of you know, for years we have listed the trenching speed at about a foot a minute, but Jason here had to prove us wrong. He can bury it three feet a minute. Okay, so let's begin by planning the sprinkler route. In this case, we'll start by laying the 100 foot rolls in the general areas we want to water. Next, we will attach the sprinkler heads securely to the ground so they don't move while we try to test. After we've secured the sprinkler heads, we will power the system up with water and verify that the sprays are going where we want them to. We can adjust the spray radius and sweep angles at this point. Because we want the ground to be damp, I normally will then water them overnight. This makes trenching a lot easier the next day. Now we will drill holes in the ground where the sprinkler heads will be. Because of the precision of our digging tools, this only needs to be a few inches from where the final locations actually will be. So now we can just connect the dots. Notice the big oak tree in the back? See the branch shadows? That's where the roots typically will be in a tree of this size. We planned an irrigation line routes to stay well away from the main trees. On the other hand, the red tool will cut through 2 inch roots in about 20 seconds. We recommend that you do not cut through larger roots than that because you could permanently damage the trees. Notice the action here while trenching. Back and forth opens up the trench, side to side helps it dig deeper. Now let's bury the lines. Notice the yellow tool would make a lousy shovel. That's because the end is designed as a smile. Blunt so you don't damage the water lines as you press past the narrow middle of the trench. The other thing that it does is close up the trench so that the seam is almost invisible. What do you think of that? Now here's some more images of the slide hammer tool in action. Notice that you don't need to lock the tool together to lift it out of the ground. You simply tilt it to the side. Remember that side to side helps you to dig deeper while front to back opens up the trench. Unlike other units, ours makes a flat bottom trench. That's because the bottom of our blade is square. It's kind of like working with a double pointed shovel, but ours is made to work that way. Now we're going to speed things up a little bit so you can get an idea of the overall action it's usually done. Notice that sometimes we backed up half a blade width to help make sure that the bottom of the trench is flat and square all the way across. Now here's the really cool part. First you see it, and then you don't. That's how invisible the seam is five minutes after you've done it. Our original trench digging system is still our most popular. It's the Irrigation Pro system. That includes a 14 inch wide green pro digger and the yellow irrigation inserter tool with a nine inch tall blade. Now we have the red slide hammer tool, which comes in two sizes the 14 inch pro and the 9 inch standard. You can think of them as sledgehammers attached to one of our shovels. It will cut through just about anything so be very careful with this one. Remember the top of the blade is designed for burying to the standard irrigation depth of 8 inches. The blue marker is at a depth of 12 inches while the white marker is at a depth of 18. And the white bottom of the slide hammer guide is at 24 inches so you really can bury cables to 24 inches deep. Lastly, is a taste of things to come. The plugging spade is designed to dig one and a half or two inch diameter hole three to nine inches deep and remove the dirt from the hole as a plug. Most of you irrigation folks already know what it's for. We welcome your comments. For more information, visit us at www.margawalt.com.